Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. I found this on the street just when I was crossing the road and the lights turned green and I picked it up and thought I'd utilise it as a demo piece. Surprise, surprise, not. Okay, this is what it is. It's a uh, scrunchy, a scrunchy fox. Trying to position it nicely, folks. Yeah, it's too far down, uh, I must admit. I've uh, got to push it up and maybe enlarge it less. I think it's enlarged too big. I'm going to just maybe start it at 200% and then enlarge the... make it a master copy and then use the master copy uh, to enlarge bigger. Yeah, that's come up looking really quite interesting, the colours in that. I don't think purple goes very well, to be honest, folks. Maybe orange? Yeah, I think the orange looks a little bit better than the... It's hard to tell because it's still, there's still orange there, but it's not totally against the background, so it may work. So I'm just going to throw that. We're going to use this as our master copy, folks.
yeah, that's come up looking really quite nice. The colour in that, the colour's really beautiful. I need the enlargement to be more on the horizontal and maybe I've got to lift it up on the vertical because I don't like that bit up there, the way it sort of sticks up. So I'm going to have to lift it anyway. But it's a good start. So there, and maybe on the horizontal we need more enlargement. Yeah, looks nice. Now we've got that nicely at the edge there. So we've got the top looking good. We just need the horizontal to be a little bit more further across and then that should hopefully work. I know what I'm doing wrong. This is going that end. I I know it's not. I must have done something wrong. I know I've done something wrong. I'm trying to get it to enlarge across, but it's not moving across. I must have done something. Oh, I know what I did. I, I was meant to change the, the X axis, not the Y axis. X is horizontal, Y is vertical, and I made the vertical bigger, not the not the horizontal. So X means horizontal, Y is vertical. So if you see this on a photocopier, you'll now, now know what I'm talking about, folks. You've learned something new from my mistake that I made. You've learned something new about, uh, a bit about photocopier terminology. So yeah, I've just allowed you to learn a bit about that. So maybe we're gonna just put it back to 180. But basically, yeah, you've just learned a little bit of uh, terminology from me fucking things up a little bit. <laughs> there you go, folks. So if you want to be a photocopier artist or you simply need to know a bit more about your office copier and how to get more out of it, well, there you go. You've just got an extra uh, pearl of knowledge added to your list of things you've just learned, folks. And that's come up looking really nice. That's what we wanted on the horizontal, not the vertical. More enlargement. You might have learned about X, Y axes and even Z axes at math when you're at high school. So you may not be totally unfamiliar with the X, Y uh, axes because you might have learned about this shit at high school in math. You know, I never learned that shit when I was at school. I learned it by playing with photocopiers, folks. That's how I learned off the off the photocopier. I never learned. I was terrible. I did really badly at math when I was in high school especially. It just got worse. Uh, it just got worse as I was progressing and I had a had brain damage at birth that interfered with my learning and it just made it hard. I got behind in math even while I think I did well at math when I was very 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 young. But I got discouraged and I never could uh, catch up. And I had brain damage at birth. I had a cord around my neck and I came out feet first. So I can't learn this stuff and catch up. And it's getting worse as I get older, the uh, difficulties with my memory and learning. So, yeah. But basically when I was in high school, my math, math was really bad. I got from a half yearly year 11 exam I got 13 out of 100 
for general maths. One, three. Not three, zero, not 30. 13 out of 100. Really bad score. And I was at the bottom of the class, at the bottom of the entire grade. So, yeah. And that's come up looking really quite nice. I think we can now call this demo quits.